Matt Tebbett started his career running his own restaurant alongside his wife, Lisa. However, the chef soon gave it up for a career in TV. The 48-year-old is well known for his BBC cooking show Saturday Kitchen and Channel 4's Food Unwrapped. He also recently launched a new vegetarian and vegan program with Channel 5. In an exclusive interview with Express.co.uk, Matt opened up about the different pressures of working on TV and in a restaurant. He explained the pressure of working in a kitchen is relentless, tough and lasts for hours. Whereas the pressure in front of a camera is a nervous pressure that he puts on himself. The chef admitted he wouldn't be able to host Saturday Kitchen without the support from his crew. He began, it's just through familiarity that you get used to doing something like that and support of a really good team behind you. If I didnt have a great crew that I was friends with, ITD be very different because you would feel kind of isolated out there on that stage on your own. I've got an earpiece, so the gallery can speak to me and tell me all the timings in my ear. So, it's not you're not totally alone. And plus, the fact you're standing up there and you're chatting to your friends. Some of these chefs I've known for years now. Over the years, Matt has invited several famous faces and celebrity chefs onto the show. Most recently, he welcomed TV presenter Rick Edwards to sample some of Mandy Yin and Ching He Wang's dishes. He explained despite having the best job in the world, some of his guests put him on edge. He said, so each day you're meeting someone really funny or interesting or musical or just you know, massively creative in some fashion. It's the best job in the world, he exclaimed. And you know what, a little bit of pressure just puts you on edge enough to up your game. We've had so many great people. I really wanted Gary Barlow to come on the show and he did. And he was an absolute joy and we have stayed in touch since. There are always some people who just put you on edge because you never know what they're going to come out with next. So that's always fun and makes it entertaining, the chef added. Matt went on to speak about how he deals with a fussy guest who doesn't like the food being served on the show. Everyone's entitled to their opinion on the food, the chef admitted. But remember we're dealing with the top half a percent of the cooking fraternity in the country. So, they're never going to serve a duff dish, that's for sure. So, they might not like the idea of something but invariably when they taste it they go, actually hang on this is really good. 